Hi everyone, it's Peachy and welcome to Black History Month 2023. This is my third year of doing these Creative Sims videos. These always offer the opportunity to me to do research on figures that people may not have heard of. Some I have even learned about only when I was trying to find lesser known historical figures for these videos. We have such a rich history and it is often not even mentioned. We know of the figures we learn of in school, but for everyone that everyone knows of, there are so many that you don't hear about. I will link a couple of the videos at the end of this video for you to check out from previous installments, or you can click the link above for the entire playlist. Let's get started. Margaret Bailey. <clears throat> Margaret Bailey was a United States Army Nurse Corps Colonel. She served in the Corps for 27 years, from July of 1944 to July of 1971, nine of which she served in France, Germany, and Japan. During her career, Bailey advanced from a second lieutenant to colonel, the highest achievable military rank in the Nurse Corps. She set several landmarks for black nurses in U.S. military becoming the first black lieutenant colonel in 1964, the first black chief nurse in a mixed non-segregated unit in 1966, and the first black full colonel in 1967. During World War II, Bailey treated German prisoners of war. In the later years of her military career, she actively worked with minority organizations and advocated to increase black participation in the Corps. After her retirement from the Army, she served as a consultant to the Surgeon General in the Nixon administration, working to increase the number of minorities in the Nurse Corps. For many years, she made speeches supporting equal participation in the United States Army across the United States. In 1938, Bailey graduated from the nursing school and found a job in Mercy Hospital in St. Petersburg, Florida then the only primary care facility for the local black community. This was career success as opportunities for black women in the South were scarce and generally limited to cleaning, teaching, or nursing, all strictly within segregated facilities for black people. However, a year later, Bailey surprised her colleagues and became the first black nurse to voluntarily resign her position at Mercy Hospital. She was she had found a better nursing position at Seaview Hospital on Staten Island, New York. At the time, this hospital was the nation's largest facility specializing in treatment of tuberculosis and the most expensive municipal medical establishment in the United States. Unlike Mercy Hospital in Florida, Seaview Hospital was non-segregated and already had a history of promoting black nurses to supervising positions. Bailey worked at Seaview Hospital for almost five years until she decided to enlist in the U.S. military in the summer of 1944. In the last years of her military service and throughout her retirement, Bailey regularly made speeches in black communities to promote integration and military service. For example, on February 27, 2000, 84-year-old Bailey traveled from her Washington, D.C. home to Alabama to speak at the Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church. On occasion, Bailey partnered with Sierra Adams Ender to advocate for more black participation in the Army. Bailey was a speaker of the National Black Nurses Association Summit in 1998 and took part in the international conferences in South Africa and Botswana. In 1999, Bailey completed and published her autobiography, The Challenge. She was also an active member of Chi Eta Phi, a professional organization of regular nurses and nursing students. Bailey died on August 28, 2014 in Washington, D.C. She was buried in Arlington National Cemetery. Thanks for those of you who have stayed all the way through the video. I hope you enjoyed the cast as well as learned some information you may not have known about the person featured in this video. I have previous videos that you can check out like this one or this one. 
See you next week. Bye for now.